Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Oz's Fish Room. I just wanted to do a little snippet here. Um, I haven't posted in a while. I've been really busy. But um, I decided I'd try the uh, aquascaping out. And I've got this 29 gallon tank going and I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, it's... Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I have some uh, rummy head, rummy head tetras, which I think are just awesome looking fish. Got the little victory flag tails and the little bright red heads. I mean, these are some cool looking little fish. And I like how they school together. So got that going here and then I've got a variety of plants here I'm not going to go through all the names of the plants but I'm just going to do a quick little overview of the tank and I've got this really cool little marine land LED lamp set up and then a little fluval C4 filter going in the back some live plants and then um, I got this little CO2 diffuser, and then I took a little, I don't know if you can see it there, a little tiny pump, bought it for eBay for like five bucks, and that just basically pushes a little impeller inside, and then um, if you can see that little downspout uh, of airline coming down, I've got that cook connected to a little, uh, do-it-yourself uh, home brew of uh, CO2 going on. It's pretty cool actually. A little citric acid and some uh, baking soda and this little kit I bought off of eBay for like I don't know like nine bucks maybe. It's got a little gauge on it here for pressure and a little uh, needle valve right here just to basically dial in the amount of CO2 and then I've got that cook connected to a little tiny uh, little bubbler this this basically allows you to count how much uh, CO2 is going into your tank <laughs> that's just kind of cool um, it's not the most beautiful setup but I'm just having some fun right now with it and then it just kind of comes around and then that's where it feeds into that little impeller right there. Um, supposedly, with all the reviews, this little diffuser right here is supposed to be the most efficient way of uh, infusing your tank with uh, CO2. And um, it's pretty cool. Seems pretty simple. Um, yeah, and then I can tell there's a, a little fine mist of CO2 in the tank and then um, I added in a little extra um, air stone in the back there and um, made sure I've got ample sorry about that uh, oxygen flowing into the tank um, I did keep a close eye and I did look at the CO2 and uh, I wanted to make sure that my, my fish weren't getting choked by the CO2 so I know for a fact that they're not they are hanging out um, all over the tank um, high on the bottom um, you know so low um, so that's a great indication that uh, there's plenty of oxygen in the water and then um, I've got some Cory cats that I've had for probably about two years and threw these guys in here from another tank. There's one little guy and then another little jewel Cory cat who just took off. Um, let's see, where is he? Yeah, there they are. And there's my two little 
Jewel Cory Cats. <laughs> I love these little guys. I think they're the coolest little fish. Um, just funny how they sit there and kind of park together. <laughs> um, yeah, this one bigger Jewel Cory is about two years old. And then I don't know how old the, the little guy is, but um, he's probably about a year. So, yeah. And um, that's it. And then um, got my tanks in my other room. Uh, I'll show you my other room real quick here. But um, I mainly wanted to just show you my aquascaping tank. Or I should say aquascaped. Here's my uh, South American tank. It's my Geophagus Surinamus, my Severum, and then I've got my uh, Harry Puffer down here. Hey, he came out. <laughs> what are you doing, little fella? I guess maybe he is hungry. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> I love this little fish. She's so cool. And then, um, yeah, he's just kind of cruising down there. And then I got my Oscar. He's up here in the 55. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to turn this into a total aquascaped tank here and um, stick this guy here somewhere else. Um, just don't have enough room here. And I don't like slamming these tanks together. I like to be able to get to my tanks. Um, and um, I like to leave like plenty of room behind the tank so I can reach in there and work on them if I need to. And um, I, I want to kind of continue to maintain that. So um, yeah, got this cell set up here and that's running well. And I'm gonna totally redo this tank here get this going as an aquascape tank and uh, like I said uh, find another spot for old uh, Picklehead. Hey Picklehead! So, yeah I've had that, I think I've had this Osprey now for almost two years. He's about nine inches. Not really that big but um, big enough. Alright, thanks for tuning in, everybody, and until next time.